Yu Kong, despite being a 4-star Harmony Path character, can boast some great nuke damage potential, especially with all of her Eidolons. She provides amazing crit damage and crit rate buffs to the party's DPS and can quickly break imaginary weakness enemies. To capitalize on her buffs in the early game, both Thief of Shooting Meteor and Musketeer of Wild Wheat are fine options. The former Relic's 32% break effect benefits from Yukong a bunch, considering her passive increasing her weakness break efficiency by 100% for basic attacks. Additionally, breaking an enemy regenerates 3 energy for her. Musketeer will help with making sure she acts first, allowing her to place her buffs as fast as possible for the main DPS. It also provides a nice damage boost to her basic attacks. Later in the game, however, consider getting two pieces from the Wastelander of Banditry Desert, which provides a 10% imaginary damage boost. Only get the full set if you're considering making her a fully fledged DPS. Since her ultimate is the main star of the show with its crit buffs, you'd want to get it as fast as possible. So for planar ornaments, Sprightly Von Wack is a great option that increases her energy regeneration rate and advances her first action forward by 40%. Talia, Kingdom of Banditry, hones her weakness break breaking. Great when used in tandem with the Thief set, providing a bonus 36% break effect with a speed of 145 or more. Now for the main stats. The body should be attack percent, while the feet should be speed. Planar Sphere can either be attack percent or imaginary damage bonus, while the Link Rope should be, as difficult as it is to obtain, energy regeneration rate. Yukong has her own signature light cone, past and future. After Yukong uses her skill, it increases the damage dealt by the next ally for one turn. This may be difficult to utilize, as you must make sure the next active character is your main damage dealer. However, it's easy to obtain this light cone and its superimpositions through Echoes of War, buying enough stuff from the Strale store in the Xianzhou Lafu, and can be bought from the Forgotten Hall's light cone shop. Dance 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 is basically the universal good option for most Harmony characters, and Yukong is no exception. After using her ultimate, all of Yukong's allies' actions are advanced forward. In mono imaginary teams where every character is imaginary, planetary rendezvous increases their imaginary damage. Even if Yukong is the only imaginary character in other teams, she still receives the extra damage boost. But the battle isn't over doesn't really synergize well with Yukong since her ultimate doesn't target an ally, meaning you won't regenerate the extra skill point. Regardless, she can still utilize its damage buff passive and high stats. Mediation is a serviceable 3 star light cone for the early game until you get the above options or meshing cogs. The beauty of Yukong's damage buffs is that it doesn't scale off of any of her stats, meaning you don't need to reach a certain threshold for attack like Tingyun for instance. However, Yukong is difficult due to how long her skill lasts. After she uses her skill, for 2 turns all of her allies attack increase. After those 2 turns her buffs disappear completely. This turn limit doesn't increase even with Eidolons, although its duration can be extended with her ultimate. That's why you must make sure your main DPS has moved soon after Yukong so they can utilize her attack buff. Certain attacks like ultimates and follow-up attacks don't count as turns. Her ultimate, as long as she has one stack of roaring bowstrings, will increase all allies crit rate and damage while dealing imaginary damage to one enemy. Her bonus traces simply improve her survivability, further buff her imaginary allies, and aids with her energy regeneration a bit. Focus on leveling her ultimate, followed by her talent or basic attack in any order, while obtaining her bonus traces as you unlock them. Yukong rewards a methodical and strategic playstyle, ensuring her buffs are not left to waste. You can also build her as a decent damage dealer with her ultimate, or inhibit her with her strong toughness breaking basic attack. For more gaming guides and news for either Star Rail or more, check out thegamer.com. I've been Yasuo Ho, and thanks for watching.